Hello, it's me, Simon. I'm working from home, as I imagine most of you are too. It's been four days now, and it's just about, just about, starting to feel normal. My new routine involves me working from the nursery and heading out at the crack of dawn into the wild to try and track down toilet paper, like something out of The Walking Dead or a zombie apocalypse film. I'm going to the shops. strange time and a little bit scary when you consider that the BBC are saying that this might last for almost a year but I think that's just going to force us to get used to it make this the new normal or something like this at least. I wonder if people writing aggressive posts about washing your hands and stockpiling hand sanitizer will ever become normal or if you have avoided Facebook I wonder if those top tips for working from home posts are ever going to go away lots of those. Basically, don't sit around in your pyjamas, wear a pair of shoes and don't visit the fridge every 15 minutes because unlike the normal situation where you open the door and it's still empty and you start to feel like you're going a bit mad, this time there's all that pasta you've stockpiled and you will eat it. That's not right, is it? You don't keep pasta in the fridge and people don't stockpile cakes. But you get the point. Regardless of whether you're a Facebook or a LinkedIn person, you've probably seen lots of Italian people singing off balconies. That's always a good thing. But let's not let this video turn into one of those posts. The other thing that's also been trending on the social networks is people giving away stuff for free. That is something we're going to jump on the bandwagon with in today's video. We're going to give away some free stuff. Two things, in fact. Carry on watching to find out what they are. A lot of the work that my team does is usually done face-to-face -face in workshops, so this is less than ideal. That doesn't mean they have to be done face to face. There's loads of cool pieces of software and technology that allows you to get almost the same results virtually these days. And a lot of the things that my team does do, design sprints, UX testing, growth hacking in particular, these are things that can be done remotely. And those things are also methodologies that allow you to explore how you can change your business to be more effective and potentially even more profitable under unusual circumstances like these. That sounded a bit like a sales pitch, but that's the end of it, don't worry. On to the free stuff. We have two exciting things that we're going to be doing over the coming months to keep you sane. Firstly, we're doing a bit of a prize draw. We're going to be giving away one two-hour session with the team. This can either be developing an idea or service at your business, planning a UX study, or helping you to think of a way to expand your offering during the isolation period. This will also give you an insight into the methods and technology we use to run workshops remotely. You can take those away and start using them yourself however you want. Freebie number two, we're going to be running a series of webinars over the coming weeks that show you the skills that are utilised by the teams at VF. These will include design sprints, power BI and data sprints and a whole lot more. And they will start on Friday the 3rd of April where I will be talking you through design sprints. If you're interested, follow the link in the description where you can either sign up for the webinars or put your name in the hat for the free two hour session with me and my team. That's it from me. Let's keep this one short. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you want to hear more from the team at VF about the things that we do and all that. And good luck in the coming months. It's going to be weird, but I think we'll get through it. Bye.